if you um, hang on to God mm. when you're angry, yeah. when you're disappointed, when your heart feels distant, I think the storms actually fertilize the peace. Yes. I think peace gets bigger um, with storms about 13 years ago now. Allison walked through this season with me. I went through just a just a really, 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 really dark season. And prior to that, I'd always been judgmental about women who struggled with depression. I just thought, oh, quit being such a baby. You know, go volunteer to home and shelter. Quit being so narcissistic. But I just, I, I had a, I lost two people who were very, very dear to me. And I had a cancer diagnosis. That very, it all happened in a week these two huge losses, and they thought I had brain cancer, ended up not being brain cancer, but it was just a, it was a tough week, and the, the three together, back to back, just knocked mm. the legs out from under me, and I'd always been, I would preach grace, mm. but I live, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, and, and all of a sudden, for the first time in my whole life, I couldn't, I couldn't pull myself up mm. anymore. I lived by myself, you know, out in this little cottage in the country, and I was so weak and I wasn't, I didn't even have the strength to be angry at God. Mm -hmm. I, it was just such overwhelming, sad mm -hmm. darkness. Mm -hmm. And God spoke to me at the very beginning and he said, you've been running scared your whole life. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go to the basement with you, that place you've avoided your whole life. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sit there with you in the dark until fear doesn't own you anymore. Mm -hmm. And it was about six months of hard. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I mean, truly couldn't physically get out of bed without speaking the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, life goes on. You still have responsibilities. You, you still have commitment. You still have to make a living. And he was not just present. He was so patient. Mm -hmm. and so kind. And I was like a newborn baby in the faith. I'd known Jesus forever. And here I was in this crisis of faith. And I realized there's a corner of my heart that's an emotional agnostic. Mm -hmm. There is still a corner of me that's afraid God isn't enough, mm -hmm. that I'll die if I don't have somebody with skin on. And instead of spanking me or chastising me or giving me a lesson he just loved me and he loved me so hard and so tangibly and he totally changed the topography of my heart. There will be, there will be deep ends, yeah, right. but I know I can stand that I won't drown. And I think that's the thing about storms is once you do get to where the water's calm again, you go, oh, he was with me yes. the whole time. Yes. Okay. He was with me and you go, well, okay, All right. Right. okay. You, <laughs> you know, you. it's like, I don't think we're really afraid of the storm. I think we're afraid of being alone. Mm -hmm. And God's and not gonna go, leave you. Never, right. never, ever, ever, you. never. And he can handle it. He can handle it. You know, yeah. when you said you were mad at God, oh, I was furious mm. when my boy mm -hmm. died. Six mm. months old, I rushed him to the mm. hospital and he had a fever. The doctor said it was an ear infection and I presented him to the nurse, Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, Tacoma, Washington. He was six months old and I put him on the counter and she started screaming code blue because he was dead. He had spinal meningitis. Oh my goodness. That's my special need, boys. That's the beginning of his story, oh. Graham. Mm. And I went from doing everything I could right. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. that girl that was raised yeah. in church. Yeah. I wanted to do right, but I was a little wild, you know. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to be the leader Christian. And I had really kind of gotten my life to the place where now I was married and I had these two boys and my husband was the evangelist. And you know that mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. where you were, is you're kind of getting A's and everything. Yeah. And then this mm. kid of mine gets this ear infection. And uh, it wasn't an ear infection. Mm. So there he is. He's got the doctors working on him. It's just like in the movies, 
you know, crash carts and people are screaming and yes, I'm backing up and I'm looking out and they're cutting down and jamming the thing. Mm. Little baby and he's dead. And they're working on him, you know. Now, we went through that experience. They gave no hope. They said he'd never walk, never talk. Mm -hmm. He'd be blind, spastic. There was, and it was a journey. And I was beyond furious with God. Mm -hmm. And I spent not mm -hmm. a week not a month, mm. man, it could have been a decade. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was furious. Mm -hmm. How could God right. stick me with this situation? And you know, you don't have the perfect Christmas card anymore. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. have the perfect. And mm -hmm. I discovered a journey of faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Now here's the deal. God wasn't mad at me. No, oh, praise That's you, Jesus. Right. Thank you. Right. He wasn't mad at me, That's Lisa. Right. <laughs> he was never mad at me. Yeah. My little boy had spinal meningitis. Yep. Mm -hmm. That wasn't because he forgot right. about me right. yeah. or he didn't know where right. I was. Right. I had to work through all that theology mm -hmm. all over again. And boy, I acted out. Mm -hmm. I was <coughs> mad. But see, that's the wonderful thing about this book. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that God's that's word just... never lets us down. That's mm -hmm. right. Tack att du hjälper oss att sprida budskapet om Jesus Kristus som kan förvandla och förändra ut över hela vårt land. För utan dig så kan inte vi göra det här. Så tack och Gud välsigna dig.